Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Agricos World. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the important questions related to soil chemistry, which have been asked in many of the competitive exams. Now let's get into the video. Here we are with our first question. The scattering of light by colloids is called as Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is the scattering of light by colloids. In octahedral unit, when aluminium is present, it is called as dioctahedral. Which of the following clay mineral is dominant in red and laterite soils? Kaolinite is a clay mineral which is dominant in red and laterite soils. Kaolinite is one is to one type of clay mineral. Basal spacing for halocyte is 10.25 Armstrongs. Halocyte is one is to one type of clay mineral and the structure is similar to kyanite and its shape is elongated tubules. Which of the following is non-expanding type of clay mineral. Among hydrous mica, vermiculite, halocyte and montmorillonite, hydrous mica is non-expanding type of clay mineral. Which of the following is tetramorphic clay mineral? Chloride is tetramorphic clay mineral. Diffusion double layer is postulated by which of the following scientists? Diffusion double layer is postulated by Goy and Chapman. Cation exchange capacity word is given by Thomson and Way. Thomson and Way gave the word cation exchange capacity. Inverse ratio law was given by Matson. Matson gave inverse ratio law. When electrolyte concentration in water increases, then diffusion double layer thickness will be decreased. With increase in the dielectric constant of the medium, the thickness of the diffusion double layer will increase. Montmorillonite is dominant clay mineral in which of the following soils? In black soils, the Montmorillonite is the dominant clay mineral. Montmorillonite is expanding 2 is to 1 type of clay mineral and it is having weak oxygen to oxygen linkage. The potential difference between fixed layer and freely mobile portion of diffuse double layer is zeta potential. Zeta potential is the potential difference between fixed layer and freely mobile portion of diffuse double layer. Who emphasized that cation exchange capacity is the second most important in nature next to photosynthesis? C. E. Marshall emphasized that the cation exchange capacity is the second most important in nature next to photosynthesis. The best example for organic colloid is humus. Humus is the best example for organic colloid. Humus is amorphous in nature. The term colloid was coined by Thomas Graham. Thomas Graham coined the term colloid. Soil particles less than 0.001 mm are called as soil colloids. Whereas the soil particles more than 
0.001 mm are called as clay. Zigzag moment of colloidal particles is called as Brownian moment. Brownian moment is due to imbalanced impact of solvent molecule on colloidal particles. This particle exhibits zigzag moment. The unit of cation exchange capacity is centimole per kg. Generally, with increase in pH, the cation exchange capacity of soil increases. Soil having large amount of organic matter exhibit more cation exchange capacity. The humus fraction insoluble in both alkali and acid medium is hum human is the insoluble humus fraction in both alkali and acid medium. Root cation exchange capacity is given by Dewox. Dewox gave the cation exchange capacity of roots. Due to decrease in pH, zeta potential will be decreased. Zeta potential will be decreased due to decrease in pH. Size of potassium ion is similar to that of ammonium ion. Increase in zeta potential leads to deflocculation. Ion activity coefficient is calculated by Debye-Hackel equation. Debye-Hackel equation is used to calculate ion activity coefficient. Cation exchange capacity on weight basis is highest for which of the following? Cation exchange capacity on weight basis is highest for humus. Cation exchange capacity on volume basis is highest for vermiculite. That is 80 to 150 centimoles per kg. Lowest cation exchange capacity is for kaolinite and that is 3 to 15 centimoles per kg. Which of the following is expanding type of mineral? Mon morilonite is expanding type of mineral. Vermiculite is slightly expanding type of mineral. Elite is non-expanding type of mineral. Phosphorus fixation is more in kaolinite. Kaolinite is most widely occurring clay mineral. Layer charge is highest for mica and chloride. Mica and chloride have highest layer charge. Anion exchange capacity is highest for kaolinite. Kaolinite has highest anion exchange capacity. Surface charge density is highest for kaolinite. Kaolinite has highest surface charge density. In Montmorillonite, isomorphous substitution is more in which layer? In Montmorillonite, octahedral layer has more isomorphous substitution. In which mineral isomorphous substitution is equal in both octahedral and tetrahedral layers? In chloride mineral, isomorphous substitution is equal in both octahedral and tetrahedral layers. In which mineral there is no isomorphous substitution 
in both octahedral and tetrahedral layers. In kaolinite mineral, there is no isomorphous substitution in both octahedral and tetrahedral layers. In vermiculite, isomorphous substitution is more in tetrahedral layer. Internal surface area is highest for which of the following mineral? Monmorillonite mineral has highest internal surface area. Surface area is highest for which of the following mineral? Kylerite is a mineral which has highest surface area. Ammonium fixation is more in vermiculite. Vermiculite has more ammonium fixation. Two is to one minerals are also called as trimorphic minerals. The base spacing of montmorillonite is mostly 14 M strongs. Montmorillonite has base spacing of 14 M strongs. Example of 1 is to 1 type of mineral is kyanite, dikite and halosite. All the three are the examples of 1 is to 1 type of mineral. Shape of humus is variable. Humus is amorphous in nature and it has variable shapes. Shape of kyanite mineral is hexagonal. Influence of one absorbed ion on the release of another from the surface of colloid is called as complementary ion effect. Complementary ion effect is the influence of one absorbed ion on the release of another from the surface of colloid. Determination of cation exchange capacity is done by ammonium acetate. Ammonium acetate is used for the determination of cation exchange capacity. Permanent charge on clay surface is developed due to isomorphous substitution. Isomorphous substitution is responsible for the permanent charge on clay surface. Theory of contact exchange is given by Jenny and Overstreet. Jenny and Overstreet gave the theory of contact exchange. To keep in touch with us, you can also follow our WhatsApp group and the number is displayed on the screen. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel, Agricos World.